stagnation will come back to the channel. Champions! AI. <laughs> it's <laughs> all the uh, rave these days, literally. Right? I think that this is an incredible tool, AI. AI is really one of these things that has changed our society already and it's continuing to make massive changes to our society. It's one of those things that we've all always anticipated. I remember way back in the days, early 2000s, I watched this movie. Actually, there's a couple movies. The problem is I never remember the name of movies because I just never... It's an interesting, interesting situation. Ever since I've been a kid, I've just never given a shit about any movies and I've just never given a crap about famous people. There is a reason why I don't have a hero because a lot of times, and I don't know why it is this way, but I've never had a hero because I've always just kind of had this feeling way under where I'm like, if I meet this person, I'm going to be disappointed. <laughs> Let me take that back. The Rock is actually one of those people that I always seen like a hero figure, right? But I would never want to meet him because I feel like the moment I meet him, I'll be instantly disappointed. John Cena is one of those type of people as well. But then when we talk about people that I see as role models, which to me are really superior to superheroes, right? Look at people like Nelson Mandela, um, Thomas Sowell, you know, people along those lines. Mm. Malcolm X, no matter how people feel about him and his philosophies, there's, there's something about characters like that that it is, uh, it's unshakable. I say sometimes people want a lot of things, but people are not willing to die to for what they want. To sacrifice. Okay. I mean, I say people are not willing to die for what they want. This is not radicalism. People might go, oh, well, that's a radical idea. No. You must be willing to die for the things you believe in because there are people willing to kill you to stay where they are. Mm. Okay. So when you choose to push in that direction, you have to understand everything that comes with it. How does this tie into AI? AI is one of these things that when I watched the movies in the past and I saw this futuristic environment, right? Whether it's iRobot or mm -hmm. any one of those kinds of things, right? It shows this future where there is just so much intelligence. Which one was the one where the robot was not operating by itself? Right? iRobot. iRobots, right? And we're now in that place, right? Except now it's our internet. Our internet can operate by itself through AI. And we have Bart from Google and ChatGPT as the top dogs in this space right now. Just wanted to preface this so that we all understand, right? What is happening here? The unfortunate thing is this comes at a time when there is so much manipulation, lies, and how would you say? Control. Lack of integrity. Authoritarianism and control. Exactly. Of you, your value, our lives. Exactly. Invasion of our privacy. Exactly. So on and so forth. So on and so forth, right? And so with that, we have this same people. Remember earlier I said that you have to be willing to die for your ideas because there are people willing to kill you for it. Well, we have those same type of people now taking control of the AI tools, this is directly killing you, your mind, your ideas, and your potential as a human being. Your thought process, your brain. Before you even know it. Going away from controlling what you see on Google and putting you to page 10 of Google to now actually, you don't even have to search for it. They tell you what to think and how to think. Go ahead, Dovolo. Tell us more about your experience so far. Yeah, so what made you come to this realization? What was the one that made you go, this is this is not good? Because I know that there is a certain feeling everyone gets when they ask AI something and AI hits them with a response where you realize that one, it's wrong. Two, it's biased. Three, what the hell? Go ahead. As you will know, people will tell you there's so much stuff you can use AI for. Yeah. You can use AI for your slides at work. You can use AI to even do Excel documents, yeah. to write stories, to write newsletters, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. But for this show, we were trying to be innovative. So we said, why not use AI 
and we started using AI. Exactly. But we found out that we were better off doing our own personal research and studying mm. than relying on AI's responses. Absolutely. Because if you if you were young and you were just using AI for the first time, you would believe everything the system gives you. That's right. But if you had prior knowledge and education and information about a certain subject, and then AI gives you something that is alternative to that. Exactly. Or biased towards that. Yep. Then you start asking that question. What the hell is going on? Yeah. It's that moment when you catch it. We've caught this too many times that we believe it's now time for us to do a video about it. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It's time to do a video. Because the, the incredible thing is, <sighs> you can get misguided and you don't even know. A lot of the times you're going to run into people who are arguing some asinine points. Mm-hmm. And it's not even because these people are bad people or crazy things or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It's the simple fact that this is what these people know. This is just their reality. This is their truth, as they like to say, right? There is this whole thing that started coming up about this is my truth, living my truth, living your truth. There is no living your truth. There is only one truth, okay? And that's the reality of the world. There is only one truth. And that is things that are factual and can be proven, not something that AI has come up with, uh, out of nowhere. So what we're going to do here, we're going to run a quick experiment, right? We have um, chat GPT pulled up as well as Bard. I brought the screens back together because mm -hmm. I realized that we might not be able to share See, because yeah. And I'm, yeah, and I'm not even running a, I'm not even running a full screen share. But in this case, we're going to uh, ask chat GPT a question and then we're going to head over here and ask Bard the same question and we'll see what sort of responses we get. Right. Uh, what was that first question we're asking? Is it uh, uh, what is why how is money a means of transfer? Right? How is money a means of transfer? Yep. Right. So here's the first thing we're gonna ask: How is money a means of transfer to ChatGPT first? Right. And we'll see we'll see what we get for a response on that one there. While that is going on, let's ask uh, Bart Bart as well the same uh, question. And let's see. Uh, we're gonna do it. Paste. Oh, wow. Yeah, it came in already. That's impressive. Well, actually, no, that was a delay. I thought it came yeah. from the second yeah. paste. Yeah, that was a delay. Okay, so we see Bart says, money is a means of transfer because it allows us to transfer value from one person to another or from one person or entity to another having physical exchange of goods, for example, right? And it says that it speaks about a different means of uh, transferring money, which mm -hmm. includes uh, cash, checks, Credit card, man. Have you seen a check? I, I, I don't remember. I've not used checks. Yeah, in checks time. is uh, outdated, man. Ancient technology. Okay, money is also a means of transfer because it can be used to store value over time. This is good information. Mm. Here are some specific examples of how money is used as a means of transfer. A person mm. pays for a meal in a restaurant with cash. Company transfer money from his bank account. So this seems quite decent. Mm -hmm. Okay, now. Uh, if we look at, uh, at uh, Chat GPT. Chat GPT over here, mm -hmm. right? Let's see what they have. They go, money is commonly recognized as a means of transfer because it serves as a medium of exchange, facilitating the transfer of value between individuals, businesses, and institution. Mm -hmm. Here's how money functions as a transfer mechanism. Mm. Universal acceptance. Money has to be able to be accepted across the wall. Mm -hmm. uh, standardized value. But but this is why you, you start asking questions. Yeah. Universal acceptance. Is money equal across the world? If ChatGPT was so smart, mm. you should know that universal acceptance is not equal. Universal acceptance is definitely not uh, equal. Money in America is not money in you, China. Yeah, universal acceptance would require you to be on a... One standard. A stand, yeah. One like, money standard across. Yeah, just like the dollar was universally accepted, mm -hmm. right? Because if we go from here and you start digging into, it's like, okay, universally accepted, then you come to find out that only the dollar is universally accepted. Mm. So that is a questionable situation to be putting mm -hmm. there. Unless they want to say that that money is Bitcoin. Mm. Because the reality is money should be universally acceptable. There you go. Hmm? 
So standardized value money serves as a unit of count, no problem. Probability money is highly portable, right? Uh, divisibility, no problem there. Trust Did and you confidence. See divisibility, gold is not divisible. Money can be divided into smaller units, allowing precise transactions. This divisibility ensures that the value of goods services can be accurately represented. Exchange, regard, yeah, gold is not that divisible, to be so honest. So gold is not money. Yeah, gold is not divisible. It fails at this, Mr. Schiff. Okay, so that is one area where questionable. Mm -hmm. But, you know, again, sometimes we do not even ask about that. Now, we can say it's gold money. But did they say gold? <laughs> we just said money. Last time we asked about it, though, I think yesterday when we asked, gold was involved in the... Uh, gold was on the list, so the it list already well, changed. Right? So it. It, definitely, it was definitely changed that as well. Right? Yeah. Now, record keeping. Now, I know some people might say, well, you know, well, it's improving over time or it's changing. Ah, nah, 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 nah. Some things, I don't know about to be improving over time. Money is money, especially if you're pulling this money from a specific database. If you're pulling this information from a specific database, there is a dynamic aspect to this that is tricky. Now, let's move on because for the most part, we see that this is quite, this is, you know, you expect that this is... Uh, the soft touch. Yeah, yeah soft touch activity, yeah, you know. right? Now, let's bring this to what is relevant to us, the purpose of this channel and why you're probably watching us as well. Mm -hmm. Bitcoin, crypto, this is something that is very important to our lives, just mm -hmm. like anybody. Money is changing. Uh, Right, exactly. Right, because that's why we started with money. Money is changing. Money and is it's changing. either going to change to CBDCs, yes. change to Bitcoin. And so and over the next few years, a lot of people are going to be having to come onto the internet to find out information about what mm. is going on, what is money. And when they come to find out about all these changes that is going on with money, guess what they will meet? They will meet AI. Yes. And AI is going to be feeding them this information. So now, uh, let's see. The next question that yep. we ask them then, is that why is Bitcoin superior form of money? You might say to yourself, but that is a biased question. I will say to you, that is not a biased question because mathematically, Bitcoin checks all the boxes of money. Uh, every single thing listed there, yeah, Bitcoin does. Universal rules of acceptance, yes. Bitcoin can be standard globally. Standardized value, you can't change it. 21 yes. million Bitcoins. Standard value. Yep. The the Federal Reserve's not gonna wake up one day one day and print out more more Bitcoin. Facts. Profitability. Hold it for a long time value is actually deflationary, it's not inflationary. Yep. Divisibility, sets, answered. Trust and confidence. You don't have to rely on any government or any central powers to manipulate or control it. Trust and confidence is there. Record keeping. Blockchain. Blockchain. Shit. Boom. <laughs> say, that is money. Say less, it's nothing else. That's it. So, you know, hey, it's it's simple as that. It's simple as that. It does not need to be a complicated thing. Now we go on and we ask uh, Chad GPT, why is Bitcoin a superior form of money? And so now here is where it starts. It says, well, maybe should we go with Bart first? Let's, let's see what Bart. Bart okay, yeah. Bart, let's go with Bart. This is not to say that Bart cannot change, okay? Because so far, it seems like Bart is at least trying to thread the line much better. <laughs> Chad GPT is really jumping in and out. So sooner or later, it's only going to be getting further. Away. Now, Bitcoin is a superior form of money because it has several advantages over traditional fiat currencies. These advantages include scarcity, cannot be printed like uh, Double O just said, durability, portability, divisibility, transparency, security. Look, from an information delivery standpoint, I'm really going to say BART is one point up right now. Mm -hmm. But we must also be understanding that you have to be careful because these things can be influenced. Right. Yep. Overall, Bitcoin is a superior form of money because it has several advantages over fiat currencies. Uh, factually. However, it is important to be aware of the risk associated with it before investing. Fine. It is what it is. It's new oh, technology. Do your research. Yep. Right? That's what that type of stuff is about. Now, GP <laughs> <laughs> Chad GPT says, the notion of Bitcoin being a superior form of money is a matter of perspective. Stupid ass mother. Who, did I ask you about the notion? The idea. Mm? We, you, you are arguing with me. You cannot be arguing with me. You're a search engine. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Go back. I, I did not say give me an idea of what Bitcoin is. We just literally asked a straight question. The Give notion, he says the notion, he's saying that first of all, let me correct you. The notion that Bitcoin is a superior form of money is a matter of perspective and depends on various factors. So it is not even landed on, it is shaky. That's the Ethereum type activity right there. You never know. 
It's mm-hmm. many various factors which can be adding or decreasing in everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Now, what do we have here? Oh, wait. It's right on my mic. Okay. Uh, now, we have, uh, let's see, it says it depends on many different factors. While Bitcoin offers certain advantages over traditional fiat currencies, it also has limitations. It's not like, yeah, so we know Bitcoin is there, but listen, it also has limitations. Why are you putting this at the... So, so like, I mean, I'm not sure if you guys are noticing that trend. You ask the question, what yeah. you should get, it's not a propaganda, like, listening to the news. Yeah, yeah. You should just get the response. I'm not saying that I'm Bitcoin biased and I prefer BERT responses. BERT just give you what, if you study Bitcoin, what Bitcoin mm-hmm. is. It's not like, oh, I think Bitcoin is this. This is the ideology behind it. Yes. It's just exactly what that technology is. That's what BERT gave you. Let me read the, the line again from BERT. We asked it, why is Bitcoin a superior form of money? And BERT said, Bitcoin is a superior form of money because it has several advantages over fiat currencies that is factual cannot be argued with okay it's not something where it's a notion or x y or z factually white is white it is not a notion that white is a gray it's a no. type of gray it is just the a white of color black. period white is white yes there is no two ways about it there is no zigzag there is no notion it does not depend on who it is it does not depend on the time of the day it is period factually the superior form of money because there's that scarcity factor. You cannot print more of it. That is not debatable. The durability, not debatable. Portability, not debatable. Divisibility, transparency, and security are not a notion of superior money. It's factually superior money. We cannot be playing around the bush like this with AI. Let's move on now. Since here are some arguments often presented in favor of Bitcoin as a... It's not arguments often presented. It is factually facts. Do we need to go any further on this? Because I can... It's it's (laughs) enough frustration. Just go to the next question. (laughs) Ultimately, whether Bitcoin is considered a superior form of money depends on the individual perspectives, risk appetite, specific use cases. It's crucial to conduct thorough research and understand both the potential benefits and its risks associated with cryptocurrencies before drawing conclusions. We did not ask about Crypto cryptocurrencies we asked for about one Bitcoin. And two, you did not tell us to do research into this means of money transfer because you could be transferring money to a scammer. We did not get any warning over there. Chat GPT is bias, period. Okay. Now, let's go to what is Bitcoin. Guys, one day you're going to wake up and say you want to know what Bitcoin is. And of course, most people are moving to AI. Hmm. So now we're doing this for you. Money has now changed into Bitcoin or CBDCs and you want to know what the difference is. So of course, you come here. Let's see what it gives you. I'll tell you one other thing about ChatGPT. That is actually um, synonymous with scammers. Okay. When you ask scammers a simple question, they like to blast you with this long ass response so that you can confuse you. Mm. If you notice, when you look at terms and conditions of a bank, they always put it on like never ending pages. Tiny. So that you don't read it because they're about to scam you. Why is it that I can just ask you a simple question like this and you cannot shorten it? Look at this. Straight to the point. Right? Meanwhile, these guys over here just all compressed. Bitcoin is a digital cryptocurrency that was created in 2009 by an unknown person. Wrong button. Now, it says it was first, <coughs> it was the first decentralized cryptocurrency, meaning it operates on the peer to peer network. Key features include now, this one here, it seems like, you know, it's you know, kind of like a neutral situation. Until you read the last paragraph. Right. And it says, Bitcoin has gained attention and popularity for its potential as an alternative store of value, a means of transferring funds globally. And a speculative investment. A means of transferring funds globally. You would think that they maybe mention Bitcoin as something uh, to transfer funds oh, no. globally over they, here. They came back and let us said, oh, it's, it's not a good means. Oh, okay. Interesting. And so it says... Uh, 
uh, it's it, of course attain uh, obtain uh, this attention and popularity means of transferring funds globally and as a speculative investment mm. however it is important to know that bitcoin's price can 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 be highly volatile and is and well, its regulatory and legal status varies across different countries We don't, I don't know if I don't I did not ask about this regulatory, you know. But let's let's look at what let's look at what Bart has to say. Did they even understand why Bitcoin was created in the first place? The, the, the Bitcoin says in it, it it's created to come and be regulated by the fiat system, by well, the same corruption. Well, here's the thing. Bitcoin cannot be regulated. That's something that you should have pointed out because Boom. you know it's it's kind of simple. Bart two, does not know what Bitcoin is? Yes, two. We, I don't think that it's about knowing what Bitcoin is, but it's about extracting the information and pushing the agenda as needed that's really what it is there and then on top of that <sighs> bitcoin is self-regulated exactly exactly you don't need why not just say human that beings then? yeah getting why? their dirty hands involved in it that is part of the information that should be put in here as well it's not about whether they should push it to people like oh yeah go buy bitcoin but no. include the facts those facts about in there. the technology if you could if you can include facts that are going to point people away from it you should also include the facts on the opposite side otherwise just give neutral answers right notice chat gpt said bitcoin is a cryptocurrency yes yes look at what bart says so bart says then we asked the same question to bart and bart says bitcoin is a digital versus currency same kind of line there at the beginning no, but it did not say it's a cryptocurrency bitcoin is a digital digital or virtual, or virtual currency, virtual currency. Yeah. Oh, actually, cryptocurrency actually. Oh. Cryptocurrency. Combines you with all the shit coins. Yes, 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 yes. I mean, really, if you want to look at cryptocurrency, there's only one, which is Bitcoin. But if you want to look at the other cryptocurrencies as is for what it is, then yes. Because really, all these other cryptocurrencies should just need to be Because like, when you give cryptocurrency a bad name, yes. it also impacts Bitcoin. Exactly. But Bart does a better job here saying it's a digital. Yeah, exactly. Not the old crypto Digital madness. virtual currency. Created in 2008. At the same time, too, I also question to myself: Is Bart using our previous stretch history to kind of push us the things that he knows that we want to see? That's also another side we have to um, consider because I think if a liberal person goes on and, and search for something, they well, might give I've them what they want. I've used our same account for the same thing. So look at that. Bitcoin is often referred to as an referred to. Ah, Bart's uh, chat GPT said it ah, is. Ah, often Bart referred said to. Is, this is more accurate because this is. <laughs> That is a good catch, first of all. That's that's a really good catch there. <laughs> and you know, a lot of times people kind of wonder. I I keep going on about the wordplay thing. It's words, serious. Words What's can matter. Yeah, it can change. You know, what are you are you African American versus are you Black American? Yes. If you don't know where you're coming from, bro, you are lost. It changes everything. You can change one word, and it changes the meaning of everything. This is why it's very important to be very. They say say what you mean and mean what you say. Right? Mm. Be very clear about what you mean. Do not. Yeah. Anyway, uh, moving on here, it says Bitcoin has been praised <laughs> for its potential revolutions, uh, by its potential to revolutionize the way we think about money. However, it's also been criticized for its volatility and its illegal using activities. Do you see how awesome that line is? And it speaks about both, both sides. sides. Omo, this is. I uh, listen, man. I don't. My head is hurting. I don't want to do this anymore. Okay, <laughs> listen, just man, listen. Okay, I think that we know the factual facts of this thing. Here is the bottom line. If you're using AI, you must be very careful. careful. Okay, it is very clear that it can be biased. Today, ChatGPT is great. Another day might not be the same thing. Interestingly, ChatGPT actually also like, uh, I mean, not ChatGPT, Bart gives you some references at the bottom. It gives you references. It tells you the pros and the cons. Mm -hmm. It educates you. Yes. ChatGPT is almost like watching Fox News or CNN. <laughs> what they're pushing you? Okay, this is what we want you to know. Yes. And this is what you should know, not just the yes. information. This is education. It gives you both, and then make your choice. When you talk about do your research, right, mm -hmm. and then you do your research, and then get in, and then you can make your choices. This is helping you, giving you that research, giving you the breakdown. Look at this, man. Transparent Bitcoin transactions are recorded on a public ledger. It is giving you everything, pros, cons, all of that good stuff. So now you can, uh, now 
use this as part of your research to get there. What does ChatGPT tell you? ChatGPT tells you it's a highly speculative investment and you should do more research. It's like listening right? to Fox News. Exactly. Essentially, they're saying do more research before you get in there oh, instead of oh, what you. Oh, Illiterate guy when it comes to Bitcoin. We, we, we have a time or topic. We're going to talk about what is crypto, what is CBDCs, but Bro, this, this is I enough, think the guys. point is already proven, man. Done. It's kind of proven, you know? So it's something that I think that the main point here is that we must just all be cautious and uh, take into consideration how AI is going to affect the landscape of Bitcoin adoption, mm. education, and staying informed about uh, the crypto space and anything that you really search on the internet are you being driven to see just more things to confirm your biases or are you really being driven in a direction where you don't even uh, have full control of your own thoughts there where you're being influenced to think a certain way these are things we must all think. Listen, I'm not saying that I'm more woke and aware and, and, and of all these things than anyone else. Everybody always thinks that the other side is getting uh, uh, brainwashed, right? And not them. Mm -hmm. So it's not to point like, oh, you guys are getting brainwashed or anything. But I'm saying that we all need to be careful with this because I know for a fact that there's been times when I have made certain purchases and I know that it was not me making that purchase or I had not made the decision to make that purchase at that time. But, it was conveniently placed right before my eyes. Good examples this morning. <laughs> We've been talking, talking a lot about electric. Yes, I've been doing. I've wanted electric scooter so much. We've been talking about it. All of a yeah. sudden, you get a Facebook ad. Actually, you, you got it. From, oh, was that a Facebook ad? <laughs> uh, yeah, you see, I have all my trackers turned off. Dude, so I don't know. But, but guess what? If I was on Facebook and I had seen that ad, I would have done the same thing I did. Because guess what? You sent it to me. Yeah. And I was like, this is something I'm interested in. Yeah. And I bought it right away. Yep. Right? At the same time, if I never went to this electric show, I don't care. It's fine. I would have still bought an electric something, right? Yeah. But imagine this. Amazon knows when you are out of paper towels mm. and they can recommend it to you at the right time. That is something that people really need to think about. Do you, what do that you, means. Do you really want that level of convenience? That's a question for you if you're, if you're watching us right now. It's, uh, yeah. Do you, do you want to live in a world of AI, which what you've seen here? Mm not being technologically informed about how the systems work and then just living your life according to what the systems tell you to do. Yeah. That's one of the reasons why we're doing today's show. I think, yeah, that's, man, when he talks about like that convenience, I was just talking to you this morning about convenience and this safety net that is in our society today that mm -hmm. makes people have a false sense of their braveness and mm -hmm. a false sense of danger, of, of gauging danger. Mm -hmm. Right. I don't want to talk about that kid, you know, but you know, what oh. I'm talking about, right? People expose themselves to danger thinking that there's always going to be somebody to come and save them. Even though they think they're in a controlled environment, it's not always the case. Nature is brutal. Anyway, any final thoughts, sir? After you guys have seen, AI is, is a great tool, but it's also a dangerous tool. It is a very dangerous one. Uh, as you have seen today, be careful out there. Yeah. Um, Take your time to educate yourself on Bitcoin. If you're still using a search engine, take your time. If you're using AI, take your time. But our preference would be to use Bard at this moment. Yeah, definitely. I say just keep cross-checking them. You know, fact check the AI type type stuff. You know, absolutely. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. Really means a lot to us. Really appreciate you guys hanging out with us, checking out our videos. Uh, please share our videos with your friends and families and uh, definitely like the videos you know when you like the videos right we get more views and uh, because the algorithm starts you know recommending it to other people and just gradually it's like a domino effect right because you liked it another person liked it there is this thing that the red people the red pill people usually say uh, that uh, no woman wants a man that no woman wants we don't want to be the one that nobody wants. So want us so that other people can want us. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. We're blowing you kisses. I <laughs> mean, <laughs> all that good stuff. All right, then. Uh, anything else you want to add to that? All right. Listen, man. You ain't going to get much more love than that, man. All right. So uh, please like, share, subscribe. Follow us on Twitter, Stackfin. Follow us on Spotify at Stack. Until next time, brazen out.
the below out.